I can still see today sitting down by the lake with my counselor, Ruthie, and she said to me, do you know Jesus personally? And I had to say no. And she said, would you like to? And I said yes. When I was 10 years old here at Trout Lake Camp, I had a wonderful week, I had a wonderful cabin, and we had a beautiful counselor named Ruthie. Ruthie is a woman that said, Marilyn, let's talk about Jesus. Would you like to invite Jesus into your heart? So she took me down by the lake and we sat with the breeze and the trees and she read scripture to me. She told me about the path to finding Jesus and my little 10-year-old heart said yes to Jesus. Significant, I'm an old lady now, but I'll never forget that first week when I asked Jesus into my heart. I came to Trout as a nine-year-old looking forward to all the adventure and fun that I'd heard about from some of my friends. I got in a wonderful cabin with our counselor named Ruthie. She was constantly telling us about how much God really loved us. And she talked to us about receiving Jesus as our personal savior. And I can remember she said, Linda, would you like to go out by the lake and would you like to think about asking Jesus to be your savior? And I said, yes, I would. And then I prayed to receive Christ. And I accepted Jesus as my savior here at Trout Lake Camp. I have to say that there's probably one word that sums up what I think of that week, and that would be relationships. Relationships with the girlfriends in the cab, and we had a great time together. And then also a new relationship with Jesus Christ. We had so much fun. And to combine fun and the fellowship, which was just friends in those years, it was just a fabulous experience. Friday night was the campfire of the week. You knew that something extra special was happening. When it came time to go down to the campfire, especially at the end, it was always dark and you waited for the fire to be lit. Then it became serious and you there was the challenge. Now, who is God in my life? They knew that the kids really were ready to think about their week. I remember thinking, this is a safe place. We could stand up and give our testimony and we'd take a little twig or a piece of wood and we'd throw it in the fire and that would be like, let my light shine for Jesus. And that night, I had just asked Jesus into my heart and I'll always remember the joy in my heart to stand up and say, I've asked Jesus in my heart today. The whole atmosphere of the camp is something that forever stands out in my mind. It's the setting, it's the people, it's the activity, it's the sense of adventure when you're here, not knowing exactly what's going to happen next. It was indescribable. And so it, it just made me want to return year after year. And once you're done with it, then you can look back. The minute you're done going to Trout Lake Camp, it's the memories, it's the memories, it's the memories. When you walk away from Trout as a young person, you really don't have any idea of the impact that it has made on you until you look back in many respects. And I look back as an adult, and it was life-changing. In today's world, where the culture is really changing very quickly, Trout Lake Camp offers a place for kids and youth to meet God. And so as, as parents are thinking about, you know, what do they want to invest in for their kids, I would say the highlight would be sending kids to Trout Lake Camps where they would hear about God and the, the one person that's going to change their children's lives and affect future generations. I want kids to come here being safe, having fun, and meeting Jesus. Those are the goals. The kids would come away having a meeting time with God. That has been special enough in my life over these years that when my husband died now in the spring, Trout Lake Camp was the memorial, and I've been sitting here thinking today, I wonder what kids are going to come to Trout Lake and hear about Jesus and be able to sit 60 years later and recount what God has done in their lives. I'm amazed when I hear the stories about what God has done in people's lives through no power of their own, but by the Holy Spirit. So as I listen to the stories of different people that I know, it's a whole other chapter of a book that could be written in terms of the influence of what a place has meant to people and how it's spread throughout the globe. Decisions that were made here 
really changed people's lives. And to be able to be a part of seeing God change lives, that's, that's worth living. The friendships that you form at camp become golden friendships through the years. Uh, you can do a lot of things, go to school, and you meet someone in your friends for a while, and then your paths separate. But here, your friends many times are forever. And I know these are golden friends. We made friends when we were little kids, and here we are, old ladies, and we're still friends. Trout Lake made a world of difference in our lives, and we are so glad that we were Trout Lake campers.